are inviting you to learn more about how they deal with shooters and other kinds of mass violence. Officers say as we see more incidents of mass violence, it's important for the community to also be prepared. 7 News' Christine Scarpelli is live in Hendersonville now with more. Good morning, Christine. Fred Tracy, good morning. Yeah, you know, it's a scary thing to even think about when you say the word shooter or shooting. You know, many times there's not a good outcome there. So, yeah, Hendersonville police say it's great to have the community at least familiar with what they should do, what law enforcement would do in a situation like that, as we see more and more of that, whether it's in the news or possibly happening in a community near you. So this morning we have Officer Robert Underwood with us. Again, thank you so much for being here. You guys are holding some information sessions for community members really anywhere in the upstate or western North Carolina to come just figure out some more information about what they should do and what you might do in a situation. You mentioned a couple minutes ago Columbine was especially something that you sort of take from, to, to learn from and, and find out what to do. Will you be talking about that? Yes. Um, I mean, that you know, Columbine was one of those events that kind of shaped the way um, the way law enforcement responds to these type of incidents, um, and we've just evolved over the years to, to our current plan. Um, but like you said, I mean, the, the best thing we want to do is educate the public, um, because it seems like every day you turn on the turn on the news, um, that there's another event that's happened somewhere around the country. Right, and it's that first story, right? It's the first thing you see. Um, we mentioned a school shooting, of course, with Columbine, but do you encourage students to come to, to a, an event like this as well? Is it just parents? Who would you like to see there? Any Anybody. Um, I mean, obviously, Obviously, these events can happen anywhere. Um, I mean, they're not limited to big towns. Um, they, they happen all across the country and in so many different environments. So um, teachers, parents, um, you know, older students would, I mean, would probably benefit from this. Fantastic. Okay, so this is happening today at 2 p.m. at the Operations Center here in Hendersonville, right? That is correct. Very good. And then Wednesday at 4 p.m. So two opportunities to come here about what you should do in an active shooter or mass violence situation. For now, live from Hendersonville, Christine Scarpelli, 7 News. Thank you, Christine. Time to